Hey, excuse me. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinet. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Hello, sir. Time to do Hello. our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Let's go. Follow me! So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> but anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Boating, Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. 
It's this way, mister! Good lord, no! I rarely leave my room! I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston! Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Is here and climb the rest of the way. Come on, easy up now. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on! I see a spot where we can climb up. Come here. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. I think there's a path through this cave. Good. This should save us some time. There ain't no need for that. You can trust me, I promise. This way.
Explosives! I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Mr. Marston, 
Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <laughs> I don't bother with that doctor. Oh. No need for that Hello. part. I should have never left Shanghai. You all right, friend? I guess. I'm still alive. Cheery kind of fella, ain't you? I haven't got much to be cheerful about. Don't guess I do neither. I came here to make my fortune. I got a job so I could marry my beloved. She says she is still waiting for me, but I will never get out from here. I will never see Shanghai again. I'll live and die in the dust. Why not? I'm indentured. We all are. We're little more than slaves. Slaves? They ain't slaves, gringo. Not slaves at all. They just have to do a month's work to get a month's pay. Don't you, Zhao? Yes, sir. Then let this man go free. This man signed a contract. If the law don't respect contracts, the law don't respect nothing. Ain't that right, Zhao? Come on. Give this man his freedom. This man owes me $10,000 if he breaks his contract. It's written down clear as day. Let him go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, gringo, cowboy. Get me, oh, I don't know. Get me a white stallion like a real cowboy ride. And this dog is yours to keep. <laughs> Whoa, there. I got you now. Well, Zhao, looks like you are a free man. I cannot thank you enough, sir. 
I am going home to my beloved. Come on. Uh, hola. Hola, señor. A veces una piedra que parece así. Vaya, que es muy importante. No, uh, no comprende. Oh, we can use English if you prefer. Or Dutch, maybe. German, Italian, yes, no. The English is fine. Bueno. As I was saying, have you seen a rock that looks like this? I'm trying to track down a family heirloom left here by my tatarabuelo. Not sure I get your meaning. Um, my great-grandfather? No, great-great-grandfather. Yes, anyway, a great man. So, he was given a map to a treasure hidden in the hills of Nuevo Paraíso by the Aztecs shortly before he burned a lot of them for heresy. Like I said, a great man. And the first key is finding this rock right here. Unfortunately, I am not the great adventurer my abuelo was. I'm having no luck whatsoever. And my wife and children, stuck in the capital, continue sending me wires asking, when am I going to see my papi again? And I tell them, it is Aztec gold, you ungrateful wretches. Aztec gold! And if that ain't teaching the young right from wrong, nothing will. Well, exactly. Ah, oh, you certainly look like the type who can get things done. I would, of course, offer a reward if you would aid me. Actually, we were not properly introduced. Basilio Aguirre Olmos de la Vargas. John Marston. Mm -hmm. Let me see that map. Once you find the missing pieces to the map, meet me back at El Matadero. Sure. Farewell, Marston. To fame and fortune.
Marston, you have it. Por favor. Let me see it. I've been waiting here, wringing my hands with expectation. It sounds unpleasant. Oh, this is it. Yes, yes. We're in luck. Do you know what this might be? Must be right around here someplace. Is it really? Is it really? Yes. It looks like it's in those caves over there. Basilio, wait! Basilio, hold on. Have you ever been down here before? A mere technicality, I assure you. Now, oh, if I could just find this damn gold! I think it might be right here. Really? Here. Let's hurry. Finally! So long! Goodbye, poverty. Goodbye, defeat. Oh, hello, Vade. Come to me. What? This can't be. No. After ten years of my life. No! That about sums up my luck recently. 